Welcome to Billy's DIY channel. I am Crystal. In this video, I am going to disclose the myth of FM crystal radios. A regular crystal radio works by receiving radio signals from the radio broadcast stations, harvest them and convert them to an audible signal. We can hear this through the headphones, earbuds or speakers. The original crystal sets can work on amplitude modulated signals or AM only. Many people think that FM crystal radios are not possible. How can FM radio transmissions be detected without batteries, however? With an indirect demodulation method called slope detection, we are now able to make crystal radios work on frequency modulated radios, or FM as well. What are the differences between an AM crystal radio and an FM crystal radio? A medium wave amplitude modulated crystal radio can operate in distance longer than 20 kilometers. It's difficult to get an FM crystal radio working at that distance. An AM crystal radio requires the antenna to work. Adding an earth connection will help. An FM crystal radio does not require any earth connections. Adding an earth connection will actually make things worse. You can start with a one meter long telescopic antenna. Adding a drop cable of the same length to form a dipole may help. A 1.7 meters long Yagi antenna will provide a better result. For AM crystal radios, you can use a big loop antenna with a diameter of 1 meter with multiple turns to replace the long antenna and the earth connection. In an FM crystal radio, a one turn loop antenna with a diameter of 10 centimeters can work in areas of stronger signals. In an FM crystal radio, we select the frequency of the radio stations by controlling the capacitance and the inductance of the resonance circuit. Then we use the method called slope detection to convert the FM signal to an AM signal. The AM signal is then converted to an audible signal using our detector. The detector for FM crystal radios can be a diode, a MOS FET, or a crystal which can handle high frequencies above 120 MHz. To detect the signal from the FM carrier waves, we tune the frequency a little off the center frequency of the stations. As the FM carrier shifts its frequency according to waveform of the modulated music or speech, the resulting amplitude will change as well according to the waveform of the signal being carried. This is how slope detection is able to convert the carried signal from FM to AM. However, this method is at best an approximation, but not a linear conversion. To reduce the inherent defects of this method, the components in use must have a high Q factor. That's why variable capacitors and coils used in FM crystal radial must have Q factors that are reasonably high. Otherwise, the approximation will get worse, resulting in noisy output. There are several other better FM detection methods, such as phase detection or frequency discrimination, that have much less noise and have been proven by others to work in a crystal radio. However, these are harder to make. If you want to know more, see the YouTube description. To increase the Q factor, use the 4S principle. Solder the coil directly to the variable capacitor, short. If there are no ways to solder the components directly together, use the shortest wire possible to reduce the capacitance. Use thick 1 mm copper wires to reduce the resistance, shiny. Soldering should result in shiny surfaces that reduces the resistance. We need to use variable capacitors of high Q factor. Plastic variable capacitors may work, but copper air variable capacitors will provide a better result. There are different types of coils that you can use in an FM crystal radio. Big loop FM coils are coils with diameter of 10 centimeters. It can pair up with a variable capacitor of 12 PF. If the FM signal strength is strong, the big loop can receive FM radio stations without an additional antenna. For this purpose, they usually made a thick or copper wire or soft copper pipes. Small FM coils are coils wounded using 1 mm copper wires with a diameter of 10 to 20 mm with 5 to 6 turns. The exact size and number of turns will depend on what variable capacitors you have to pair it up with. A detector is the component that converts the radio signals to audible signals. 
Detectors used for FM crystal radios must have low embedded capacitance. Here are the list of detectors I have tested to work for FM crystal radios. Shocky diodes such as 1SS106, 1SS86, and 1SS98 with an output impedance of around 10 kilo ohm. HSMS2850 with an output imp impedance of around 40 kilo ohm. MOS FET like 3DQ or 3SK143 with impedance of 1.5 kilo ohm. Output volumes of FM crystal radios are lower than the medium wave crystal radios. Because of the use of slope detection, the volume will not improve much even if you have a strong FM signal. You will need a much more sensitive headphone or earbuds that matches with the output impedance of your detector of choice. You can try the following headphones. Crystal earbuds are made of piezoelectric buzzers with an impedance of 10 kilo ohms. Since this is a capacitive earbud, it needs a DC path to release the charges each time before it'll be ready to make the next sound. A 500 kilo ohm resistor or a transformer of multiple Henrys will do the trick. Sound-powered headphones with an impedance of 50 ohms is the most sensitive balance armature headphones. I have recently tried to convert some balance armature sound units, also known as BA or moving iron drivers, to work in crystal radios. See the link in my description if you want to know more.